might not be immediately apparent, but education is not ideologically neutral. Children are being taught that there is no such thing as truth, that they are living in an intolerant, oppressive society, and that their identity is based entirely on their own self-identification. The agenda is implemented when the state gives religious answers to the fundamental questions, but hides the fact that it is doing so. The religion is humanistic, and it is taught with the power of the state behind it. Douglas Williams, Classical Christian Educator If we lived in centuries gone by and dwelt in a city where we were under constant threat of the barbarians coming over the wall and taking away captives, we would make sure our children were well trained in the art of self-defense in order to protect themselves and ward off the barbarians. Metropolitan Moses of Toronto A quote from the Wisdom of Solomon, For speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding, I think has a very significant meaning for us today, in that people are being programmed by the programs, not just television programs, but the program of what is going on with the agenda of this world. The world is always being at enmity with God, because our Lord says the prince of this world is the devil, so the understanding needs to remain enlightened. We have to start out with study. Metropolitan Demetrius of America And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Ephesians 6.4 With us, everything else should be secondary compared to our concern with children and their upbringing in the instruction and teaching of the Lord. St. John Chrysostom You must all get together and establish a good school, appoint a committee to govern it, to appoint a teacher to teach all the children, rich and poor, because it is in school that we learn who God is, who the Holy Trinity, who are the angels, demons, and what is paradise, hell, virtue, evil, what is the soul, body, etc. Without a school, we walk in darkness. St. Cosmas of Etolia. This is what we are trying to do with the Orthodox Educational Initiative, to establish meaningful educational alternatives which will establish a foundation in knowledge and the ability to evaluate, discern, and defend what is true. Father John Summers, Initiative Headmaster. The St. John of Damascus Orthodox Educational Initiative is a program under the auspices of the Eparchial Synod of North America meant to provide an Orthodox Christian education in our diocese. It uses the classical system of education. Why? It was the tried and true system that educated our greatest scholar saints, St. Basil the Great, St. Gregory the Theologian, St. John Chrysostom, St. John of Damascus, St. Photius the Great, St. Gregory Palamas, St. Mark of Ephesus, and many others. We all need the ability to think clearly, to understand what we read and hear, and to articulate our understanding. Classical education emphasizes grammar, logic, and rhetoric. Grammar to help us organize our thoughts, logic to help us understand clearly the words we read, write, and speak, and rhetoric to help us express ourselves accurately and persuasively. Father Stephen Allen, Initiative Instructor. The initiative uses a combination of Zoom video conferencing software, YouTube videos, textbooks, and assigned reading material, all combined in the Populi Classroom Management System. It offers a variety of classes for children and adults, including... So what is this? What job is that doing in a sentence? Well, it's weird. It's not weird. It's just something that we've learned more recently. It's the predicate noun. Thank you. The predicate noun. What it's case so is it in? It's not weird. What's so weird about it? <laughs> it's the nominative case. Yes, it could. You, you do it every day. Um, you know, she is a girl. Uh, this is a coffee cup. Um, that's a computer. I mean, you do that. It was so weird about that. You do that every day. You do it all the time. It's called the predicate now. Well, there was there was one part that I did want to ask was for okay. four A. Was it still negative or was it positive? Because well, it's a negative I, times a negative now, so is it a positive? Okay, let's if if, if we're if we're puzzled, let's put the ghost back. If I multiply negative one times negative four A, what do I have? Okay, so it is positive four A. Okay. Gotcha. okay, well that's that's four A. Go on. Then what? So, What's your 
So 4a minus uh, 3t plus 10. Okay. All right, so, so we're always saying, well, what do we need logic? You use logic all the time. Oranges, all oranges are round and spherical with an orange color, right? On the table, there's a piece of fruit. It's round and spherical with an orange color. It's a orange. Orange. Unless you've got a really good figure to apple. You use the syllogistic. You use the syllogistic all the time. So it's not a question of whether or not you should use it. It's a question of not of whether or not you should get good at using it. However, what's really interesting about this is, is that the replication of mitochondria is not controlled by mitochondria. They don't have any last word in the subject. They operate under orders of the nucleus. Hmm. And the nucleus can order up more mitochondria and can conjure them up out of out of no previous mitochondria. It can go build some new ones. <laughs> it's quite interesting. So we that kind of blows away the <laughs> That kind of blows away the argument that that the evolutionists sometimes make, like, yeah. oh, mitochondria were yeah. once their own little thing. Yes, it kind of gives them a problem, doesn't it? It's, it's a very yeah. big, big headache to that. Thank you for noticing that, Xenia. You're quite right. Uh, so we're going to turn to scripture first. But in, in order to refute this, to defend the faith against this proposition, what else might we say? We have, we have the testimony of scripture from John 15, 26. What else might we say? The ecumenical councils. Yeah, right. So the first, the first and second ecumenical councils wrote. What did they write? So we're building our apologia now. Is that what we're doing? Exactly. I'm trying. But okay, we, okay. Specifically for Roman Catholicism, but what I want to show you tonight is to model a method. Ah. An apologetic method that's really handy and easy, right? The classes are taught by orthodox instructors who are real teachers. The curriculum is flexible. Parents can either purchase a specific class or classes, or the entire curriculum. Initiative classes can be used by households or parishes. The next semester starts early February 2020. Please visit orthodoxlearninggoc.com to register for classes or support our initiative. May God bless you.